I yield two minutes to my colleague from Georgia, Mr. Sanford. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentlelady for yielding, uh, and I want to thank uh, Chairman Miller of the Authorizing Committee of Veterans Affairs and the Ranking Member Brown, uh, Ranking Member, and of course Chairman Dent, who uh, chairs the uh, Milcon VA Subcommittee of Appropriations, on which I serve as Ranking Member. Uh, today, this body is debating text within the highway bill to address the Department of Veterans Affairs $3 billion budget shortfall for veterans' health care in FY15. Without this legislation, the VA could run out of money by September. Costs have exploded by more than 10 percent in the last year as a result of higher demand, while the budget increased by only 2.8 percent. Additionally, costs for treatments have increased. For example, due to new life-saving hepatitis C medicine costing as much as $1,000 for a single pill, the VA's $700 million FY15 budget for hepatitis C has already been exceeded with more than two months left in the fiscal year. Now, this situation is a prime example of how the sequester caps imposed by the Budget Control Act and locked in by the Republican budget constrain our ability to deal with issues responsibly and in a timely manner. It is well past time that we come to the table to break the cycle of irresponsible funding levels that are shortchanging our veterans' health care. While the House passed FY16 Milcon VA Appropriations Bill adds $970 million for VA medical care advanced appropriations within the FY15 bill, the amount still remains $330 million below the VA request most likely leading to another budget shortfall in FY16. Today's bill is only a Band-Aid, a temporary solution because of budget caps. To be clear, if we continue to ignore the new reality of increased demand and higher cost, delivery of health care services to millions of current enrolled veterans will be devastated for the foreseeable future. If Congress continues to function under these budget caps... Uh, excuse Gen gentleman's time has expired. I uh, yield uh, 30 more seconds to the gentleman. Gentleman is recognized for an additional uh, 30 seconds. General lady, if Congress continues to function under these budget caps, we will see more gaps in access, utilization, and safety, and ultimately a lower standard of care. Even further, the caps limit Congress's options to create jobs, to keep our communities safe, to research life-saving medical treatments, and to give our children a better education. I urge you to vote for this bill to ensure that veterans continue to receive the care which they've earned, but we cannot continue to govern in this fashion. Today, we must take the next step towards a more responsible budgeting process so we can eventually stop lurching from one crisis to the next. To do so, the budget caps must be directly addressed in order to properly invest in our veterans' health care as well as advance other priorities assisting hardworking Americans. Gentlemen, gentlemen.